Hey guys, Luca here, and today I want to talk about, as a software engineer, do we still need to know how to code? So historically speaking, as a software engineer, one of the most important jobs for us is to be able to code and build softwares. And many of the technology that we use today are built by software engineers. So clearly, in the past 20, 30 years, software engineer had been an integral role for our day-to-day -day lives. And many of these roles have been around for a very long time. And now I'm interested in chatting. What do I think the future have for a lot of us? One of the most exciting topics that's been happening for the past few years has been the no-code solution for something. For example, tools like Shopify, no-code solution to build a website, or even no-code solution to build a mobile app. These have been a very exciting fields for a lot of startups and Shopify being one of the notable solutions for a lot of people to be able to quickly build something without having to worry about coding. But of course, a lot of these tools are built by software engineers who are writing codes for these features to happen. Software engineers who have a deep understanding of the underlying principle are better positioned in the future than people who may not be. For example, during the early days of my career, while I was working on personal projects, I was running into a lot of issues. And my go-to solution was to copy paste the issue I am having onto Google and hopefully I will find something on Stack Overflow. And then I just copy whatever solution they have onto the product and hoping that you know now everything will compile and run smoothly. And when I have to expand the feature and scale it even more, I have to do pretty much the same thing, try to describe what I'm doing and then hopefully find something else rather than improving the code because I really don't know what I copy pasted. So a lot of time I'm running into these issues where I'm replacing huge chunk of code just to make sure the feature that I want now can happen rather than really understanding how something is built. So this clearly shows because I didn't know anything about the patterns, how to write certain things, all I can do is rely on something else to help me build it. And the product I end up having is very poorly written because I copy pasted from so many different locations. The authors are very different and they're their approach is very different. So many inconsistency. And at the end of the day, like it's just not a functional product. Of course, newer technology like ChatGPT or Copilot will be even more powerful than Stack Overflow because they might cater towards better situational need. But that doesn't eliminate the decision makings, the choices that you have to make. And sometimes the solution they provide you may not be the exact one you need because you missed certain prompts in the way you ask the question. So having a strong coding foundation can help you leverage a lot of these tools a lot better. Yeah, and having a better understanding also empowers you to be able to contribute more to just coding itself. For example, keeping the styling in check, having a good software architecture design for the needs that you are facing, having the ability to collaborate with other developers, also provide valuable feedback during code review. Because many of people underestimate code reviewing, especially at bigger tech companies. Coding review is one of the most important process for a software engineer. It requires you to have a very good understanding of how to write code, but also the ability to see if someone else, the way they're writing, makes sense for the system, or if what they're doing is the best possible solution. So of course there are other responsibilities that a software engineer needs to have, for example, communicating with cross-functional team members. Some require writing design docs, testing, scaling, and while there are additional responsibilities, coding over time has still remained a foundational block for software engineers. And one of the hottest area right now is applied AI. And if you are interested in becoming a researcher or implementing newer algorithms, coding is very important. But you also need to know the underlying algorithms. You also need to potentially have mathematics skills and the ability to combine them and into building these models that can help make the best possible decisions for some of these algorithms. And if you are someone who are purely interested in on the applied aspect, not rather rather than developing these algorithms, then again like the ability to use some of these API endpoints, how to integrate it into a new solution will require coding. So I would say like coding will still remain a very important skill for most software engineers in the near future. So for example, as a software developer, a lot of times no code solutions are great, but we also run into issues such as customization and potentially the, the feature that we want aren't supported yet. This requires us to file a complaint or some sort. But many times if you are building these things yourself, then you have the ability to control how you want this to be like. 
and many developers still prefer to write code rather than using these no-code solutions. Sure, we have a lot of tools, newer softwares that could potentially make coding a lot easier, but it's not a one-size-fits-all solution just yet. And many times, in order to get to the one-size-fits-all solution, it will require a lot of integration process, a lot of different life cycles, and we are not quite there just yet. And when will we be there? I'm not sure, but I am making another video on some of these trends and predictions, and I will talk more in that video. So yeah, in conclusion, if you are someone who's already in software engineer, then I would recommend definitely keep your coding skills sharp. It's still very important for the near future, and it's something that will help you to achieve your career goal, whatever that is. And if you're someone who's thinking about going into tech and thinking if learning coding is necessary, absolutely. You don't want to be someone who's just using things because a machine is feeding back at you. You still need to be able to make the right choices on whether the output is exactly what you need for the case that you have. And one of the best ways to make that decision is to understand coding and know the underlying infrastructures and really have hands-on experiences that you accumulate over time. So yeah, I hope this video was helpful. Let me know what you guys think. And uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I will talk to you guys next time.